Hello and welcome to Maths with Jacob. This lesson will focus on geometric transformations. A special puzzle to warm up the brain cells is on the next slide. The answer will be given at the end. Enjoy. What is the meaning of the following? Good luck with it. It's a very, very tricky puzzle. It's one of the hardest you'll find. So good luck with it. If you would like to subscribe now, please do so here. Otherwise, you can subscribe at the end. Geometric transformations. In simple terms, a geometric transformation is a change which happens to a plane figure. Basically, it is a change of position. When the transformation has been made, we look at the position of the original figure and the position of the figure that has been moved. Finally, we make conclusions about the movement of points from the original figure to the figure that has been moved or transformed. Starting on the next slide, we will look at three very popular transformations. Translation. The first popular transformation is the translation. When a translation occurs, the original figure moves a fixed distance in a fixed direction. The distance that the figure moves is called the magnitude of the translation. Examples of translations. The above pictures show three examples of translations. Each figure has moved a specific distance in a straight line, that is, in a particular direction. So it's very important to note that each of these figures has moved in a straight line. They have not moved in a curve, they have moved in a straight line, and they've moved a fixed distance. Rotation. The second popular transformation is the rotation. When a rotation occurs, the original figure rotates around a fixed point called the center of rotation. Every other point moves in a circular direction and is always the same distance from the fixed point. The original object can be rotated clockwise or counterclockwise. Examples of rotation. The yellow rectangle has been rotated in a clockwise direction. The fixed point is shown by the red arrow. So this point here, right on the corner, that's the fixed point, and it is the center of rotation. Every other point rotates around that point. And in this particular example, the rotation is in a clockwise direction. The orange arrow has been rotated in an anti-clockwise direction. The fixed point is shown by the red arrow. So there's the fixed point there, and every other point on, from this original figure here rotates around that fixed point, which is the center of rotation. Reflection. The third popular transformation is the reflection. In order for a reflection to take place, we must have an axis of reflection. This axis of reflection is just a line of fixed points. In real life, we look at our reflection in the mirror. The mirror is a plane of fixed points. Here are some examples of reflection. Both figures above have been reflected in the red line. The reflected objects are mirror images of the original objects. 
So just pretend there's the original object. That's like a mirror. And that's the reflected object. Here's the original object. There's the mirror. And that's the reflected object. Quick quiz. Here's a quick quiz to help with your understanding. And please check through the video at any time to help you. What is the meaning of the following? The answer is summer. And here is a little clue to help you understand that answer. It is a very, very tricky one, isn't it? Good luck with it and see if you can understand it. The quick quiz answers. Please check through the video at any time if you want to check something out. The video is there to help you. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe on the next slide and you'll receive a notification as to when the next video is available. Hope to see you next lesson.